welcome back to my channel if it's your first time joining us welcome to my channel i am sneaky way the mother of the snacks subscribe right now and become a snack thank you today's video we have a get ready with me a huam where i will be doing my hair well not so much hair because my hair is really done but i did do my edges um makeup outfit fragrance the whole show vibe the whole show bang since you know youtube's going back to its og content style of doing things i'm happy to be a part of it i have always loved get ready with me's so if you like get ready with me's as well you should totally subscribe if you haven't and you know what the thing is a lot of you guys are watching but you're not subscribed i can see i can see you i can see you please please subscribe please so if you guys are interested in seeing all of that then keep on watching First things first, I'm the brillest. Oh gosh, I'm back to my old ways. We're gonna do my edges first. I've been using this edge gel by Vida, I guess. Vida is life. I got this in the goodie bag from the Clix Beauty Festival. And this is really good. Like, yeah, bam, by Lendo. extremely sad about these braids because by the end of this week I need to have them off because someone I'm not naming names but they do manage me has decided to do our PR shoot right after I got my braids <laughs> and I literally got these like just now in Feb for Valentine's Day so they're really still new but also, I don't want all my PR pictures for the year to have braids in them, so... <sighs> I just gotta take this out. Bro, why do my sideburns go all the way up to here? Like, why, why do I have hair all the way down here? Hair. Bing. Done. This is a tick. <laughs> up close in. Personal. I'm not gonna talk too much through this because I actually want to film a dedicated foundation. Well, not foundation, makeup routine, but obviously, like my whole thing is complexion makeup, so that's why it's really just gonna be about the skin stuff. Um, I really want to film that, but like if it's not something you're looking for, let me know. But otherwise, I'm doing it. <laughs> And also, yes, let us address the elephant in the room. My skin. What the hell? Um, this is why I haven't done that skincare video that I told you guys I was going to do. Um, but I've been using products to help me clear it. So through trial and error, I think I've got my routine down right. Which means I will be able to share products with you guys that genuinely work and have helped me through these tough times because wow primer done two days ago i washed all my brushes so yes i am in fact better than all of you go wash your brushes <laughs> i'm joking you guys now my which brush is gonna be the sacrificial lamb? I'm using Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup. This is one foundation right now that really just matches me so perfectly. The concealers I will be using next are from the same foundation family, the Revlon Colorstay family skin awakening concealers well skin awaken um so i have the lighter shade to highlight and then the darker shade to contour i 
I've always known that my makeup thing was complexion stuff. <sighs> this is the reason I don't use this brush. The Refi one that I usually use um, is still wet. I think um, being exposed to Uche's TikTok, the base queen, just really reinforced it for me. Like, I could watch her do her foundation routine all the time. Like, I do. I watch her all the time. And every time I'm like, wow, this is amazing. As if it's my first time seeing it. Then I use my Rimmel Lasting Matte Concealer. Much lighter and um, it's a thicker formula. This is for where I want to be extra highlighted. As you guys can see, I do a lot of back and forth with like all my other brushes just to make sure that everything is seamless. Ooh, I'm going in with my Yardley Loose Powder. I've gone back to this baby, mostly because my friend got me like two of these. Um, so that's why I just figured there's no need for me to buy the Almay one. Um, and also, this one has a little bit of a pink tint in it. And again, TikTok has just been telling us that pink tint powders are where it's at so that's what your girl's using ideally i'd be using my powder puff thing that came in my one of my powders loose powders but it's also still wet because it was also stained and i also had to soak it so we're gonna use a trusty beauty blender <sighs> i haven't used a beauty blender in a while I'm very stressed. Mm. I think I should use a brush. Beauty blender is way too harsh. I'll use it for my nose. So we're using a brush instead. I used to always use a brush until I started using contacts um, and then the brush would just flick too much of the powder into my contacts and then I'd always end up with dirty contacts after doing my makeup and that messes up my vision so but now that I'm using the brush again I'm just like the puff is so much better and by better I mean how the how the sits makes your makeup look better overall. I put some on my nose, sorry, I did that. My camera switched off because it was overheating, which like, fair, I get that. These lights, baby. <laughs> the next powders I'm gonna use are these Fit Me powders. This is a lighter one for where I've just highlighted and then a contour shade. I don't know it brings more warmth into my highlights as opposed to making me like stark white and then my last complexion powder is my mac studio fix powder that is the same color as me nc47 um and i just basically put this to blend together. I can't really see the product going on my face, but I can see the difference that it makes. Should I do my, no, let's 
go in with some setting spray layer one so I started using the refi brow gel I think I figured out how to use it now just make sure the white doesn't actually show on my brows but other than that this is a really great holding product for the brows I've been thinking of getting into like a straighter brow but I'm nervous then we're gonna go in with the refi brow pencil and fill in the gaps So I did this brow off camera just to see what the hell I was about to do and this is a very big brow for me but I also recognize that there's really not that much of a difference. I mean it kind of looks the same to me but okay. <laughs> I'm... No it's not. This is really big. But it suits my face because I have a big ass forehead. Things are going to be me and short. That's crazy. At least I have my sheen light. You know what? This is this the most the same my brows have ever been. Okay, these last few steps are always the quickest. Blush, highlights, lashes. Dream Blush Palette from Scarlet Hill, still to this day, is my blush. Fenty Beauty Kilowatt for highlight, as always, still. And then for mascara, I've been using this Huda Beauty Legit Lashes mascara, and for the first time in a long time, I feel like this actually does something for my lashes because I I've been using lash the uh, mascaras I think I've been rotating like three different brands and they're all just like meh to me but this one really came and made its mark bro I know you guys see that this is not on some Michaela shit finally my lips, which I am lining with MAC chestnut. How can I forget? <laughs> Period. Okay. I'm going to go put my lashes on off camera because it's quicker that way. Because... Legitting! Ah! I'm so sorry, guys. It is time for my outfit, which I probably should have chosen before starting this video because what if I need to iron? Way. I went to my new in rack because well, that's where I keep all the clothes that I haven't worn, my rack. Um, and I have this set from Shein. I feel like it's going to see the vibes of the restaurant. So, and it doesn't need to be ironed, although I still do have electricity. Um, but, you know, always love a don't need to iron moment. I'm gonna do gold with this. And the skirt. I am really trying to not save clothes for special occasions because that's what I do and then I end up not wearing my clothes for the whole year. Okay, you can't see the skirt, but here it is. So I'm like, Fuck it, let's just wear it, you know? It was raining earlier on, but it's really cleared up and it's gonna be hot for this week. So I don't know if I'm gonna need a jacket, but here's the base of the outfit. And I'm wondering, this doesn't really need to be ironed, does it? My mom would say otherwise, but no, it's not me. <laughs> I'm joking, she literally is. Um, accessories, shoes. I'm thinking maybe brown. Maybe I should wear my brown swirly swirl ones. 
Let me bring the options to you. Damn. So there's this one. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Who shall it be? We've moved to my bedroom because this. We've moved to my bedroom because there's actually some natural light in here. These are the shoes I chose. Pretends to be shocked. Deciding between these two bags. Ah! Let me wear some jewelry and see if that won't help me make my decision. Okay, so this is where we're at with the jewels. I got my gold hoops that I wear all the time. Two rings. My Van Sleef and a bangle. <laughs> I call it Van Sleef because it's from Shein and it's not the real thing, but it really looks good. Like, they really came through for us. And then just a stack of more Van Sleefs. My Daniel Wellington, another Shein piece, and yeah. So that's the jewelry. I love the green on this side. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stick to the red because it's dinner and this is more of a like moody vibe. Dinner, dark dim lights. Okay, we're done. Oh, fragrance. Hmm, I think I'm gonna wear Angel Shea. Angels. Share by Killian. This this doesn't stay outside of the box like this. Even the bottle itself is an experience. Ooh, come on, bro. Like, be all the way for real. This stuff smells incredible. I smell too good. Now we wait for the boyfriend. But um, I just wanted to know, do you know somebody named, you, you know his name? Oh yeah, definitely, I know his name. I just want to let you know that he's mine. <laughs> no, no, he's mine. free us find out next time on no they won't they will not free us they will at any given chance ruin the vibes they will but you know and we will create through all odds that are being formed against us weapons that are being formed against us thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i did not forget the giveaway winners are going to be in my description box yes so if you have not reached out to me by i guess the end of the week i'm giving you guys so much time if you haven't reached out to me by the end of the week and you're a giveaway winner i'm gonna have to pick someone else but i will also put it in my community tab here on youtube and also i would really like it if you guys would read my description boxes they're so cute like i really be chatting to you guys there like but yeah, that is where you will get that information and any other information that is necessary and applies to this video, like my outfit, perfume, all that stuff. Yeah, so I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming back to watch. If you come back and watch all the time, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.